Hey guys, I got here a camera to show today. This is the Sony Cybershot DSC F828. Now this is a very old digital camera. This I think was the only camera from Sony that featured their four color technology called RGBE, E standing for emerald. So this is actually my dad's camera from back in the day. And this has the Carl Zeiss 20 to 200 f2 to 2.8 aperture lens. He still has the original Sony strap, charger and everything, even the uh, lens dust cover. And this has seven times optical zoom with eight megapixels. This build quality in general is really nice. Uh, it's all plastic, but everything feels really nice to hold and it feels really well built. Um, nothing rattling or anything. It's very solid. Still very smooth. And what I really liked about this is that it has a swivel feature like that. Let me power it up for you guys. You can see it's still powered up, still working. So this has an automatic flash, or you can manually raise the flash using this latch here, like so. Different modes that you can select from. And you can also select whether to use the LCD display or the finder. Yeah, that's hard to see. Well, I tried to get the finder on the um, camera lens there, but it didn't work, so I'll switch it back to LCD. But, yeah, as you can see, in terms of overall function, this thing still powers on, and it can still be used. I did charge it before this video as I was messing around with it. Now, I find the LCD display to be clearer than the viewfinder on this unit. Um, the resolution on these displays are obviously uh, nowadays not the best resolution, though I'm pretty sure this was good for its time. This also uses a compact flash and a memory stick, which is down here. The camera's still on, so probably won't mess with that. Really nice to hold. It has a rubber grip right here. And yeah, you guys are probably interested in the pictures and the video quality of this camera, right? So I have some good news and some bad news. Um, the bad news is that the sensor is kind of messed up or is starting to break, I think, because a lot of the pictures I'm taking right now, they have lines in them. Sometimes the color is really weird and the brightness is all janky. Sometimes the pictures are crazy bright or sometimes it's crazy dark and the color is all inverted. So I don't really know what's going on here. The pictures I'm taking also don't match the, like what I'm seeing through the display before I take the picture. So here's a quick demo of the little uh, weird things I'm seeing through the camera images. So here I am holding the camera pointing outside of a window. You can see everything looks normal here, but when I take a picture, The picture is like really white, just like completely bright. I have no idea what's going on, but clearly it doesn't look like that in this picture here. And the, set, the same goes with uh, manual mode. You guys are also probably interested in what the video quality looks like. So here is the video quality from the Sony F828. I believe it only records video in 640 by 480, so it is 480p. Uh, you can see there is my little Amazon cheap light that I got for probably like $10, $15. And there is my Canon R50, which I use to record all my videos, my MacBook. Uh, 
there's the window. Let's see if it can adjust. Oh, it does actually adjust pretty nice. Zooming out of the window into the sky. This is at maximum 200 zoom right now. And I will zoom all the way back. So it looks like the video is actually looking better than at least the brightness sensor on the video is working better than it does in the camera mode which is interesting but yeah a little quick demo on the video quality hey guys so here I imported some pictures from the camera to my computer now these pictures right here these are the ones I'm showing first are the old ones so back when the camera was still working perfectly fine this picture I believe was from 2009. The focus is currently outside the window in the background so that's why this jar of uh, fruits is blurred. The color quality is actually really nice. Kind of has this warmer tone to it. Um, the 8 megapixel camera, you can definitely see the individual pixels when you're zooming in. But still, looks pretty nice honestly. Here's another one uh, in the backyard. I believe this one was 2012. Yep. So that's the resolution of these images, by the way, in JPEG format. This was taken in 2012. Uh, look at the colors of that green. It actually looks really, really vivid and well saturated. You can see, still see the water droplets on the leaves. Here is a picture of my dog, who, he's not here anymore, unfortunately. I think this is also back in 2012. You can see the depth of field in play here. Uh, background is blurred and is focused on his face. You can even pick out the hairs in his ears and, of course, his face. So I'm actually really surprised how good this image looks for a camera from 2003. You can even see the, the texture of the bricks. So yeah, actually really impressed. When I was looking back at the photos from the LCD display, they didn't look that impressive on the display. But when you transfer them to a computer, you can actually really see the quality of these pictures. Here's another one. This one was taken in New Hampshire in 2012. It's a lot better than what I thought it would look like. Again, you can see the depth of field. The background is blurred. pretty sharp as well. Um, here is another picture of that tree. And here you can really see how great the colors look. The blue in the background is very deep and it's a really rich blue color in contrast with the yellow flower in the back and even the green grass. You can see all the colors in play here and I think it looks really impressive. It also kind of has like a nostalgic look to it. Looks really nice. But again, when you zoom in, you can definitely see pixels, which is expected. Another picture. Here is a bee on the same tree. Looks really nice. Just look at the quality of this. I was not expecting this kind of quality. Now these pictures I'm showing you now are pictures I've taken all recently. So this is when, this is like current day when the sensor is kind of weird and wonky. This is what I'm talking about when the pictures are showing up black. And that's supposed to be a fish tank and a light above. So not sure what's going on with this camera now. Here is a picture I took today. This is a little creeper plush with the flash on. This is on automatic mode. And you can see it still looks pretty sharp. But when you zoom in, you can see all the lines 
There's like a bunch of horizontal lines going across the image. Here's that same image taken without the flash. And you can still see those lines. Not sure what's going on. Kind of looks like those old TVs. And here's a picture of that weird white washed out colors that I was talking about. So the picture is all white and it has like a kind of pinkish purple kind of hue to it. Um, it's doing this on manual and automatic mode when taking pictures outside. Um, no matter what I do with the settings, I can't get it to get any darker or get it to get like those normal colors. So really odd. I'm not sure what's going on with the camera now. As you, you can see here as well. This picture I was able to get with the non washed out colors, but then you can see all the individual lines still. What's interesting is it looks like the horizontal lines aren't that apparent on the brighter parts of the image, but in here, you can definitely see there's lines going around. At this current state, it's not working as it's supposed to, I think, because of uh, all these weird pictures it's producing. But if you guys have any thoughts or uh, info on why it's doing this, let me know in the comments and maybe I can try to fix this. And yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.